Hi YouTube, hello everyone, I'm Mini Dobby and this is Mini Diaries episode 12. Thank you all for clicking on my video, hopefully you'll enjoy it enough to give me a thumbs up button. You see me in Bugs Car today, I thought as a celebration to it passing this MOT, I'd start the intro in here and it's a little bit warmer. This week I'm going to be working on my cylinder head. I'm going to be hopefully finishing off the clutch master. I've still got to do a little bit of spraying to that and also find the bottle as well. I can't seem to find that anywhere still. I'm trying to push hard. It's absolutely freezing cold today. It's been snowing out there. I'm trying to get the mini ready. I'm trying to get it ready for Brooklands. It's getting exciting. Everyone's getting their, their cars ready. So I have to get mine ready so I can go and chase them all up the road. got my cylinder head here I'm gonna be cleaning up the chambers I'm gonna be using a wire wheel brush and some WD-40 I'm gonna be very careful not to hit this surface I have protected it with some gaffer tape as best as possible but I know to be careful any of this that comes off is always gonna be a bonus before I take the valves out and then I can clean the face of them afterwards gently it's just not about catching his head and being nice and careful at the minute. Let's get some of that done. So that's the chambers all cleaned up. I don't want to go too mad with the wire wheel. I don't want to damage any of this surface, as I said before. They've come out quite clean. I've given them a wash out with some petrol. Next, I'm going to flip the head up and start popping the valves out. Last time you see the head, it was on its side. It was at that point that I realised that I didn't have all the tools, all of the stuff to finish the job. I had to go and get some lapping paste and also I had to go and get the spring compressor to let the valves go. That's what I'm going to use next. I'm going to do two of them at a time as to not get confused. It's a case of squeezing the springs, taking the collets out, pulling the valve out of the back, replacing the valve stem oil seal and then re-putting it all back together. Fingers crossed. Got the valve compressor, I've had to tighten it right down, that will then squeeze the valve and the valve springs together, releasing the little collets there which will allow the spring and the top cap to come off and the valve to come out the back side. Now is a magnet going to pull the collet off? Yes. Look at that. So release it slowly and hopefully that one goes shooting that way. Cool. Slowly. Double valve springs and the top hat and the valve itself it's got some dirt in it that I was cleaning the other day in lapping this valve back in it should give it a nice seat to the head again I know that I've got to be careful with this bit here but I don't know about this top bit here I suppose I could give that a wipe off so I managed to get off both sets of valve springs. I've noticed I've only got one set of valve stem oil seals 
I think it's now good practice to put two on. So I'm going to try and get this one off and then pop the two new ones on. Let's see how this goes. I'll see how these pop off and the new one goes on. I don't want to be damage, damaging the tops there though. Oh. Easy. Just be careful. So I've got the new valve stem all seals that I'm going to be putting on there. I'm not going to be putting them on just yet though. First I'm going to lap in the valve. <clears throat> I've just been reading in the Haynes manual that if they're not too burnt and they're not too pitted to only lap the valves in with the fine paste. So that's good news. Just wish I could stand this head a little bit steadier. in the Haynes manual I'm only going to be using the fine grade there doesn't appear to be any severe pitting or burning a bit of pace on this little surface of the valve only the stick will then go down on top of it and allow you to work the valve back and forth creating a nice seal around the valve to the chamber Can you see at the beginning there when I was turning the valve with the stick grinding in there now that I've done it for a few seconds the sound of the grinding goes away it goes a lot finer then lift the valve put it back down again get a bit more stuff in there and work it in again nothing let's give that a wipe off so after doing the first one with a fine course I think it's this second face or second part of the face down and it does appear that it's still got some pitting on it this face up here very nice and clean no pitting at all it's just on the valves here so I might give them a go with the course as it does say if there is pitting if there is heavy pitting I give it a course I go with a course and then another go with a, with the fine and see how I get on Can you see the seating face on that one? On the inlet valve it's a lot cleaner than on the exhaust and it looks a lot better on the head too. I'm quite happy with that one. Now it's time to give it a clean up. I don't want any of that paste left in there when I fit these valves back in. New valve stem oil seals. back on there we go can hopefully get my collets back in there now
So that's how we change the valve stem oil seals then. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. It means I can get the rest of these done without having to worry about the camera. Put some music on, have a dance and bust these out. Hopefully that's the cause of the smoking of my engine last year. See how the valve stem oil seal, the metal grip spring has come off. It's the first one that's like it and this one is the valve stem oil seal that's over the bore that was that little bit juicier as well. All of the head work is done. I took two of the valves out at a time, made it nice and easy for myself so I didn't get confused. I replaced eight of the valve stem oil seals. There was four before and I thought it was a good idea to replace them with eight, so I have done. I've replaced them with the MPI ones as well, which is another good idea. It's all about trying to stop the oil running from your rockers, down your valves and into your bores. So hopefully the valve stem oil seals will work. I did also find one that the spring had come off the top and it was sort of not down on the bottom so that was probably causing a bit of smoke. I've lapped all of the valves in, they didn't look too bad. The exhaust uh, valves, they looked the worst, they looked the most pitted. Once I'd lapped them in though there was a nice clean seating surface on the head so I'm quite happy with that. Fingers crossed it doesn't smoke as much and all of this work would have paid off. Up next is the clutch master cylinder. I'm pretty much finished with the head here. I've just got to clean the face where the manifold will go against. I'll get the clutch master done next so that can be fitted. I'm halfway through spraying that so let's finish that off. see there I finished spraying the clutch master cylinder I finished it with some clear matte lacquer again the same as the brake master it's come out quite well it's looking similar just can't fit it yet as it's still drying also managed to find the bottle as well so I can get that fitted as soon as possible now once that's dry unfortunately that's it for another week I would put more of this spraying in there, but it's the same thing over and over again. In me doing the lapping of the valves and redoing the valve stem oil seals, I hope that you found that helpful and it wasn't too boring for you. Next week's and the weeks after mini diaries are gonna be slightly different. I've got some special episodes coming up. The first one I've got is to Brooklands. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be making it in my Mini. I've still got my ticket, so I'm going to be going in a Mini possibly. If not, I'll definitely be there. I'll be walking around with some stickers. Um, come and say hello to me. It'd be nice to meet some of yours. It will also be cool if I can spot some of your Minis out on show as well. The other special episode, that will be coming the week after. And I've bought a couple of new projects, a couple of new cars that are going to be turning up here shortly. So stay tuned, maybe press that subscribe button, even head over to my Instagram and check that out, which is at Mini Dobby. You may sneak a little preview of what I've bought, but give it a couple of weeks and it'll be a Mini Diaries and hopefully it's going to impress you all, something really rare. So I'm quite looking forward to that. As I said before, thank you for watching. I may see some of you at Brooklands. If not, have a good weekend. Stay safe and be lucky.